<coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. I uh, did a live stream today, uh, earlier, on account of this uh, solar eclipse. That sold a bill of goods, people. The only reason I say that, uh, it didn't get dark. I said it was going to. Hi, Dizzy. Michael, super backer. Good to see you. So, uh, Robert, hello. Jeremy Fowler, hello. Round two. No, this no darkness here. You know, look, it was supposed to get dark. I'm not, I don't think I'm being a jerk. I don't think I'm being a whiner. I don't think I'm being that guy. I think uh, it was supposed to get uh, you know, dark, and it didn't. A little disappointed, just being honest with you. Dominic, good to see you. Heard ya. Nice to see you. Tree-hugging Buddhist. Thank you for being here. Hi, Michael. Julie Chaplin, good to see you. Riverdale, how are you doing? So I'm in the backyard under the uh, Palermo, Palumbo, whatever the thing is called, Perogola, whatever the thing is. Thomas Turner. Jeremiah, good to see you. And look at that, Dizzy. I think Dizzy said he got something. You did, Dizzy. Got a good amount of the, the eclipse. You know what? If I had the glasses on, I probably could have stared at it and said, oh, look what's happening, but I didn't. Sun's pretty powerful. You got to block a lot of it for us on the ground here to notice it. Seriously, I'm not joking. Johnny tried to send you an email. I don't think you can try. I think you can. I'm not sure if I've received. If I haven't returned it yet, I, I will. Please, uh, maybe send it again. Hi, Audrey. Audrey eats hot stuff. Just tried my first ever tincture. Funny you say that. First ever tincture. Because look what I got. Whoops, man, I just dropped my phone. Uh, but Audrey, since you just had your first tincture, I got a little tincture. This is from Seriously Hot uh, Peppers, Tom Broom. This is his uh, orange tincture, vintage five months. So I'm going to have this room temp mayo. Love you in super hot. Room temperature mayo. Imagine that. Wicked orangey. Ah, Michael Ferrara saw a red hot pepper in the eclipse. That's my man right there. Oh, you want to send me a sauce? You know what? Let me. Uh, here's the thing. I'm leaving Thursday. I'm going out of town. And I will be out of town for a while. Cadillac jerky. To see you. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm still gonna be making videos, but I'll be out of town for probably a month. I'm writing a book. Wendy Love had to resubscribe. The audacity. Been, been here forever. I'm sorry, Wendy. Thank you for being back here. Hi, Wes. Good to see you. So I'm writing a book. I can't write it here. I just can't. There's too many, too many things. The bird sanctuary, cats. So um, I'm going. To a secluded place for a month. I will still be making videos. They'll just be a different people are gonna say, where everybody's gonna say, Where are you? I'm, I'm not telling you. Can't tell anybody where I'm at. But um we'll figure something out. Uh, I, I'll only be gone for a month and I'll be back. So and I might even be back for like weekends here and there. But I got a lot of work to do. Robert Springs, good to see you. Brandon Breeding, forget about it. To see you, man. Um, couldn't see it, huh? I, was, I, I, you know, in the video I earlier, we, I, Tommy and I knew a dude named uh, Ricky. Listen to Black Sabbath and stared at the sun. Listen to Black Sabbath on seventy-eight speed. I want to be actual official about it. That's what happened. What can I tell us about the church swag? What can I tell you about the church's swag? Tree hug and beauty. Well, I'll tell you what. You will be seeing several commercials, uh, ads this month here and on my Instagram. Kind of commercials, as it were, for Church's Chicken. But we have more stuff in the works, some really, really amazing, cool stuff in the works. So for those who want to know, that's the company. Jeremiah Long, good to see you. 
Uh, if I pick three peppers, room temperature mayo to go from habanero to seven pot, what three peppers would you put in between to gradually grow taros? That's a great question. Here's the problem. I'm not that guy. Well, I went from uh, habanero to ghost and ghost or reaper and everything I could find after that. Um, I, and the reason that I did that is because that's what was available to me. Um, I don't know. You, you know. There's so many peppers along the way. I would just, you know, it depends on what you like. Um, habanero to seven to a seven pot. I would go habanero, ghost pepper. If, if you're going to go just three, I would just go habanero, ghost to seven pot. That's, those are your three. It'd be perfect. Thirty-four percent eclipse. I felt shafted. Really felt taken advantage of. I'm not going to even. It's true. It was churches. Yes, it was. Did. Uh, mixed bag of donuts. Is there a recommended sauce to try with ice cream? They want to try that combination. Fruit-based sauces are great. Uh, blueberry sauces, any blueberry sauce. So you know what? Hellfire makes blueberry hell. It's a wonderful sauce on, on uh, ice cream. It's a weird one. I mean, I took the time to do this this morning, and nothing. That's not true. It got a little, it, the lighting got weird. But it didn't get dark, man. We were supposed to be. It said, oh, man, I Googled it. And I said, in Tucson. They told me what the experience would be. It's going to be in the dark for four minutes and, tw and 28 seconds. Then, like, in the middle way through, they're like, no, nah, man, it's only three and a half. And I'm like, it's the okie doke. It's the okie doke. I'm not the only one disappointed, I promise you. You know, it's, yeah, Audrey, you know, a good thing, and I've, I think I said this in probably a couple of videos about building tolerance. If You know, I kind of played with just what was available near me. What do we got here? And I didn't have a lot of oper a lot of choices. So there were, you know, ghost peppers and jalapenos, jalapenos, habaneros, and ghosts. So when I was done, I wasn't quite ready for ghosts yet. I would just eat a lot of jalapenos. I would eat, instead of eating one habanero, I'd eat like 10. I get to the point where I can eat a whole bunch of them. Because even if all you got is habanero, you know, if you just eat one habanero a day and, and you get to the point where somebody, you're, like your friend of yours, is eating 10 of them a day, the person who's eating 10 of them a day has way higher tolerance, even though you're just working with the same pepper. Follow me? So, anyway. Uh, Todd Conley. You know what? I'm not going to talk about that. That's not a good question. Jeremy Fowler. Not for nothing, the beer. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Here's it. It takes too long to do, man. It really is. <coughs> Way too long. Uh, screaming down chocolate raspberry reaper is, is good ice cream. Oh, I bet. Anything raspberry, anything fruit-based is really, really good. Hi, Ted. Good to see you, dude. Um, what pepper? At what? pepper should you purge and not leave in your stomach it's a funny thing you know i only really do that in big contests you know what i mean in the beginning like the, right now is the beginning of the pod season so when I, I eat a pepper i'm gonna hurt a little bit but i know that it, you know you got if you want to dance you got to pay the band so you know you just kind of suffer through it in a big contest if i'm eating like a lot of peppers you bet i'm gonna get rid of those that's a nightmare code name Good to see you. Mac, good to see you, dude. Very, very cool to see you, bro. Good to see you, man. I'm glad you're here. I've been thinking about you, Mac. Uh, it's not a gazebo. It's a uh, perugula. It's a Palermo, Palumbo. I don't know the name of the thing. Every time we say it, we're using a different word. We're kind of treating this structure kind of like, uh, what's that guy? Cumberbatch. What's the dude's name? You know, the actor Cumberbatch, every time they say his name, they say it differently. They butcher it on purpose. That's what this thing is. A trellis. There you go. It's a trellis. I'll tell you what it is. It's a pain in the butt to make. That's no joke. I, I kind of dig it, though. It's going to be really cool. I think we need to do some more to it, throw some lights up on it. But it's a cool place to sit right now. Like, I wouldn't want to be sitting here the sun but it does, and, and even though there's only slats up on top i, I was thinking when we were making i'm like man this isn't going to throw off it's not going to really shade you very much but it actually does it throws a bunch of shade uh no splinters 
No splinters did well that way. <clears throat> has capsaicin chili chaplain? Has capsaicin ever caused you your urine to burn? Because I had a weird experience. Uh, Audrey, fire hose. Yeah, and the, and the fellows, they call it fire hose. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, the ladies, they call it fire lily. And what it is, you just have a high concentrate of caps, concentration of capsaicin. And it's got to exit. Got to exit. And that's one of the ways. So, yeah. First time. I remember the very first time it ever happened. It was hilarious. I remember what I ate. I, it's, but it had never happened before, you know. At the time, I wasn't really connected into the chili community. So I didn't have, you know, I didn't have, I don't even know if there was a chili. I, I didn't have anybody to say, hey, chill, dude. It's just fire hose. And so I, I, I was home. I was married. And I was in, <laughs> it happened. I was like, scared me. I'm like, I haven't done anything. And then I remember like, what have I, oh, I hate ghost peppers. Tears. It works with tears too. If you, if you, you know, if you eat a ton of, a lot of hot peppers and you cry, your tears will burn. True story. Anyhow, Andrew, heat seeker boy. Good to see you, dude. Average Joe's woodworking from Minnesota. Been here a minute. Looks like a lovely day. Uh, I wish I had peppers, but aphids were ballistic. Yep, yeah, they sure can. Do you ever see a, <clears throat> it's funny, uh, there's a lot of different, you know, every, growers have different ways to deal with them. They're, they're a nightmare. Ladybugs. Ladybugs are amazing. Remember, ladybugs are interesting. I remember saying to somebody, well, there's no fence, man. How are you going to make sure they stick around? <clears throat> and the answer is, man, they don't, they don't bounce until the food's gone. They're going to hang. No one's leaving until the food's gone. It's what the rumor is, but it's weird. You know, you buy a pouch, like a sack with 10,000 ladybugs in it, and you go in your garden, you dump them all out, and they kind of, a bunch of them probably fly off while you're doing it. But if you ever watch a video, you want to have some fun, see a video of what a, a ladybug does do an aphid. That is a terrifying creature. If you're an aphid, they, they can just gobble one after the other, and the way they eat them, it's brutal. No joke. Shell! See you, shall. Marco. Good to see you. Call me Johnny. Um, Eric, Chris, Harvest in a month. Oh, my goodness. Chad Matthews. There's my dude. Good to see you, Chad. Ladybugs. Yeah. There's Shell. Nick, I am the noise opera. Just stop by, say I love you. I love you, bro. Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, when's the next challenge? You know, it's funny you say that. I have a challenge where, it, you know what? I have, uh, the, when the pod season starts, there's tons of challenges because, well, it's pod season. You know what? How do I get rid of that? I don't want that to stop. No. There we go. Um, like flying piranhas. I'll tell you what, they really are scary. If you if, watch a close up video, you know, they're, they're cute. They're little and they're adorable. But if you're this big and you're an aphid, it's, you know, it's kind of like that is uh praying mantis. You think about it, I think about that sometimes, like in the days of dinosaurs, you, know, you see mosquitoes with wingspan. Like imagine if they had like, if they, listen, if, if praying mantis were the size of like, like a, a lab, like a golden lab, a golden retriever, it's a, small, it's a small dog. Do you understand they'd be eating cows? We'd be done. Please do more live chats on YouTube, says Thomas Turner. I'm going to. Well, I, I'm going to. I promise. I know I've been saying that. Here's the thing. Uh, boy, you know what I say I'm going to, but I'm about to hole up and write a book. Nah, it'll be a good thing to do. I'll do one, one a day. Might as well break up the monotony. Uh, I, I will do more of them, I promise. I, I enjoy it, you guys. I, I enjoy connecting with you guys like this. I really do. Robert, Ryan, Rachel, and Rebecca. Say hi to Johnny Bolger Bunch. Say hello. The Bolger Bunch has been with me. We've been together for forever. You know what? You miss one hot minute. Guess what? What time is it? Right now, people, 
Everybody get something hot. You hear me? Get something hot. We're going to do one hot minute. That's a beautiful thing. I never ask you guys to smash the like button or any of that silliness. But do me a favor. Gently caress that like button. You know why? Because it'll push it out in the algorithm. YouTube will say, oh, something must be happening here. Let's have more people. And they'll push it out. We'll get more chili heads in this thing. We went from 57 to 64, just like that. All right. So let's let's everybody like this. If you don't mind, let's like this thing. Share it. And what we're going to do, it is 10 minutes, 12, 13 minutes after 3. My time. <coughs> Failed eclipse time. That's what we're going to call the time zone here. Um, and we'll do this at 3.30. So we've got 17 minutes. Okay, and we're all going to eat something hot. Whiskey burn count? Sure. We'll count that, Wendy Love. Of course. So here's what we're going to do. We have uh, 17 minutes. Get something hot. It doesn't matter what it is. I don't care. Um, matters not to me. It can be a pepper. It can be hot sauce. It can be... If you don't have anything, look at Wendy Love. is going to do some whiskey. Burns a little bit. Um, whiskey chest, they call it. Brad Bishop. You should do videos like this. And it would burn here. He'd call it whiskey chest. So sure that counts. Uh, and what we're going to do is this. We, what I'd like you to do, if you're new to the channel, and you've never experienced one hot minute. Boy, you're in for a treat. Here's what happens. Everybody gets something hot. We're all going to experience it together. So between now and 3.30, so am I giving it enough time or should I go 3.45? Should I go a half hour from now or should we do it at 3.30? Put your vote in. Should we do it at 3.30 or 3.45? Regardless, either way, what happens is between now and then, you type in the in the comment here what, what you're eating. All right? Tell us what you're eating. And uh, then we're all going to eat it at 3.30. We'll do it at 3.30. The first four said 3.30. 3.30 it is. Although Dizzy says 3.33. You know what? I kind of like the oddness of 3.33. Toby Reville wants a shout out. Forget about it. You got that shout out, dude. Toby, thank you for taking some time to hang out with us here. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to do it at 333 because I like that, Dizzy. That's a heck of an idea. 333 today. So we've got another 17 or 18 minutes. Get something hot. And what you're going to do, wait, Jen Marie, I am. And Jen Marie, you have a beautiful blue wrench right there. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to hang out with me today. Get something hot. Type in so we can see what you're eating. Bull Cobb Mad Mash. Nice, Jeremy Fowler. Uh, habanero pickled sausage, Riverdale, as usual. Excellent. Locally made. Always in hand. Uh, can I get one, too? You sure can, Kelsass. Wes Lightburn agrees with the 333, and he created the design for one hot minute, and we're gonna, I'm going to make them at some point. I promise you I will. Wendy Love was just totally joking, by the way, for a month sober. Oh, how cool, girl. I didn't know. I don't judge. I'm not anti-anything. I'm just anti-addiction. So, yeah, I'm proud of you. Been watching you since day one, Toby says. Day one, really? Because that's a lot of days, man. We're approaching eight years. Day one. Thank you, Toby, for doing that. TJ Sebastian, homemade habanero salsa. Trigo Buddhist says, hey, Jen. Uh, Kristen Melinda, black truffle. Melinda's black truffle hot sauce. You know what's funny about that sauce? Thank you for being here, Kristen. I wanted to like that sauce. I love truffle. I have some in my fridge. Real truffle in like black uh, summer truffle. Sliced thinly in uh, olive oil. Delicious. But I'll tell you something. Sauces that have truffle, sauce makers don't know how to do it right. They're, they they do not have it balanced, and they're just ridiculous. They don't, I mean, come on. They're such a powerful thing. You need this much truffle in sauce to make it a truffle sauce, and they have this much pepper and this much truffle. So I wanted to like that so badly. The other one was truff. You guys ever see truff? That was the most disappointing, one of the most disappointing sauces I've ever done. By the way, one hot minute at 3.33, I'm doing uh, Seriously Hot Tincture. I did the orange first. Now I'm doing his Omega Tincture. You guys see how clear this is? the picture clear to you? You guys notice how clear? Does the picture look different? Because I got a new laptop. Want to hear something funny? Want to hear an embarrassing thing about my laptop? Clayton Hollingsworth, good to see you. Want to hear an embarrassing thing about my laptop? Bought it what, two days ago. Actually, about days ago, I had a big problem with it. But I brought it back, got my money back, traded it up, got a better one. I'm sitting around two days ago. Or was it yesterday? Two days ago. And I figured out that this thing is 
touch screen. I almost had a stroke. I don't know what I was doing. I was moving the thing. And my thumb, t- I was like, because oh, I've owned touch screen computers, uh, laptops before. And when I bought it, I didn't realize it was touch screen. All right. One hot minute, people. 3.33 today. What are you eating? And once we eat it, people, I'll do a countdown. We do a 10-second countdown. And then we'll all eat the stuff together. And then what you need to do is you need to tell us what your heat is. And say, it's at a two. Oh, my gosh. It's at a four. And then, we do, and then the horse race starts. If you haven't, if you've never been a part, please, by the way, this is super important. If this is your first one hot minute, please type in first because I need to know who's never done this before. I'm very clear. Thank you, Toby. I'm so glad. You had 24 hours that you realized. It. Yeah, I had 24 hours before I realized it was a touchscreen. Silly, huh? It's a crazy show. Uh, it's clear. Do I like Reaper squeezins? I, I enjoy Reaper squeezins. I have only gone through one or maybe two bottles of it, but I've, I enjoyed that. Uh, can I do some seven pot? Going to do some seven pot primo hot sauce. Mo for blaze. That sounds good. Look at all these first. You got to be kidding me. <gasps> Rico Darcy. T. Louise G. You know what? Dominic Wallace, there's so many first. You got to be joking me. Are you guys serious? You pull my leg. Get out of here. It's not your first, Riverdale. It's so not your first. You've been in forever. Look at all of these first. Wow. Let me tell you what's cool about One Hot Minute. We really don't do them very often. Very often. Please, guys, this is important. This could be a good one. We have another. We're going to do it at 333. So we have four, 68 people watching this. And believe it or not, 47 of you have hit the like button. I know it's a lot to ask. The like button more than likely is out your house or apartment down the stairs at the end of your drive. No, it's right in front of you. Just hit it. Hit the like button. Hit the like button there. See? Because what's going to happen is the more you do that, okay, the more you do that, the more people are going to join us. We'll eat burn together. Uh, Kelzeas is new to the channel. Very cool. I'm glad you're here. Codename Viper, first here. Very, very cool. I'm glad. There's a whole lot of brand. Did you guys find this channel because it's super hot? Is that how that worked? Or did you just kind of stumble upon it because you sort of stumbled upon it? When I tried pickled quail eggs on your show. Well, you know, I love pickled quail eggs, Rico Dorsey. I mean, a lot. I had some. I can't remember who made them. I ate the entire jar in like one sitting. They were amazing. Um, Smoking Blunt J. So good to see you. Jay from Smoking Blunt Hot Sauce is with us. That is a great company, you guys. Tommy, did Tommy, is Tommy in the chat? No, I don't even say that. Is Tommy in the chat? You better get something hot. Uh, boy, you know what? This isn't going to help rain much. All of a sudden, it got dark real quick. It wasn't this dark during the clips. Yeah, tree hugging Buddhist, the century eggs. Pretty gnarly. Yeah, listen, and this is what you can. If you really, if you really want to do something really, really cool, this is what we encourage you to do. Now, I'm filming. I got the camera going. I'm looking at the live stream. What I would do is I would get my phone out and I would film me doing one hot minute because you all know what I look like, but I don't know what Rico Dorsey looks like. I don't know what uh, Jacek Balagne Balagne. Listen, I don't know what he looks like or they look like. T. Louise, not sure what T. T. Louise got a great looking cat. Is that a cat in your uh... bottom line? Is if you take a picture, all right, you can uh, take that uh, the little uh, link and put that in the comment section of this here video. And then afterwards, we all get to see who was part of one hot minute. So if you can try to film your one hot minute, please do that. Uh, Caitlin Cammer, I loved you before, Suprat. I squealed when I realized Suprat was a thing. <laughs> Thank you for uh, being here and being a, such a support. I appreciate that. That was a fun thing to be a part of. Jeremy jumped on the bus today. Suprat released. Love you guys. Been on the boat for as long. Thank you. First met me on the lifeboat. Yep. Uh, I'm finishing with Critical Cheese. A good thing to do. Tommy is a legend. Indeed. Uh, all right. So we are now down to about 10 minutes from right now, I think. Something like that. 
I met Rico Dorsey at Myrtle Beach. Rico at Myrtle Beach. That was a fun time. Was it the first time or the second time? I wonder. First time we sent somebody to the hospital. Second time we didn't. Um, I think I remember you, Rico. Your dark hair. I, I, I'm trying to think. I need to see your video so I can go, Rico. I've uh, been a fan for uh, before Super Hot found you and Tommy on IG. Uh, the Spice Bromance began. My dude. Can't stay for one hot minute. Got to cook for my son. That's way more important. Wendy Love, thank you. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks for being here. Do I ever come to Colorado with T. Louise? Uh, ah, you know, the first two years of the channel, I went there a couple times. Um, a couple sauce makers there. And I jumped the was it second or third year of the channel. I jumped out of a plane. The first skydive I did uh, eating peppers was in uh, at mile high uh, skydive. That was pretty fun. But I haven't been there since. I am Tater Chip. No relation. Same name. No relation. And that is my stage name. It's my name now. But it wasn't. that's not my birth name. I changed the name to protect my family. From hateful people. I've done a good job for the most part. They haven't been harassed too much. Um, Kelzea says, work in the shout outs. He wants another one. It's like a third one. But yeah, you bet. Kelzea, thank you for uh, getting on the bus. You hear me refer to this thing as the bus? That's what this is. I'm just the driver. It's your bus. Excuse me. Peter Bear, good to see you, dude. All right, we are, what, seven minutes away or eight minutes away from one hot minute. Peter, you just joined us. We're doing one hot minute. Jimbo Slice, good to see you, man. One hot slice. Okay, uh, one hot slice. One hot minute. Get something hot. We've got about eight minutes. Um, tell us in the uh, in the chat what you're eating. And then after we do this, I'll t- we're all going to post our, our one to ten heat. Jason P, member for nine months. OHM, baby. OHM. A couple of charapitas off the plant for one hot minute. But that's what? $5,000 charapitas? Most expensive pepper in the world. Every time uh, you see someone do that, they talk about that. But I think it's kind of like, it's interesting. It's an interesting pepper. It's like 13000 a kilo or 22000 a kilo. Every time I do it, that, like the, cha- the money's a little different, but it's always super expensive. Foy and I bought a, a bag of mash of ch- chili, this big, cherry this huge, giant bag of mash. You know what I found out? Not the biggest fan of that pepper. We we're going to make a uh, sauce of it just because, you know, the, hot, the most expensive. It would have been a cool idea. Not so much. Um, uh-oh, Kilzeas is eating five jalapenos. Love it. I wish I had a jalapeno right now. Oh can't believe I don't. Drew V, my bro. Hope you're doing good, man. Uh, Rico's eating ghost pepper sauce. Nice. Uh, hey, listen, Drew, you just got in here in time. We have about six minutes. At 3.33, we're doing one hot minute. Man, I think 3.33, see, whatever the hour, 33 needs to be the uh, minute. I like that. 70 watching, 70 thumbs up. That's much better. I love you. Holy mackerel. I don't ever think I've ever seen anything like that. It's a first. Thank you, you guys. Oh, I love Serrano Tree Hug and Buddhist. Jalapenos are a great snack. You know what? I'd rather snack on uh, Serrano's. They are so good. So I'm doing a um, – uh, Drew is doing tenders from Popeye's. It's a lovely thing. My computer's making funny noise. Is it overheating or something? No, just kind of making noise. All right, so we have what uh, – Six minutes. Jason P. Tincture and some tube of terror peanuts. <sighs> Lemon tank from Broom from Brandon Breeding. Ghost pepper pineapple sauce for smoking blunt. Nice. TJ Sebastian, 1233 in the morning. This will be better than coffee. Yes, it will be, my friend. I could never eat ghost pepper pineapple sauce. Imagine how spicy it is. Kelsey, of course you can. Of course you can. It's just a matter of 
you know, nobody who's a weightlifter sits down at a bench and, you know, pushes up 500 pounds. They push up the bar the first time and you slowly build your way up. Same thing with tincture. Same thing with spice. He starts small and nobody judges. In fact, go to, at the end of this, go to the, uh, go to the playlist and look up uh, pepperology. There's four or five videos, a whole bunch of videos about how to raise your tolerance. You can become a raging chili and never hurt yourself. Hatch, good to see you. Uh, Rico Dorsey, thank you so much. You might remember I had a Dallas Cowboy shirt on. You're about my size, right? We're almost the same size, Rico. I think I do remember you. I'm not even joking. Uh, amnesia and jalapeno hot sauce from Linda's. Nice. Very nice. A Sioux dog. Hi from Italy. Hello. Thanks for being here, man. All right. So now we are looking at what? We are a whopping five minutes away from one hot minute, but we haven't done a one hot minute in a long time. If you just joined us, especially in Italy, please get something spicy fast. We are doing one hot minute and one hot minute is where everybody gets something spicy. And at 3.33 today, we're all going to eat together. I'm going to do a 10 second countdown. We're all going to eat something hot. I'm eating Omega Tincture from Seriously Hot uh, Peppers. And then after we eat something hot, um, we're all going to post it. You'll say, post what your numbers are. And you'll say, I, I'm at a three. Yeah, it's climbing, though. I'm at a four. You'll see. It'll, it'll become really clear to you really quick. But everybody has a little bit of time. We have 81 people in the chat, 80 likes. I love that. We're killing it, everybody. Uh, TLB friends, let's do it. The lifeboat, baby. Look at that. Now we even have more. It's beautiful. Jason P., just because I love this bus. Thank you so much, dude. You don't need to do that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that avatar. It's me and Jason when he came out to uh, Albuquerque. Man, that was a cool – that that was like the highlight of the weekend, man. That was awesome. Uh, and jalapenos are a bit like Russian roulette, Audrey. You're not lying. Galzeas agrees with me. All right, so people, we are three minutes away from one hot minute. All right, three minutes away. So get your – whatever hot you got, get it ready. You know the neighbors are going, what the heck is that guy saying? Is he an auctioneer? Wait till everybody starts eating. You were an absolute pleasure. Ah, so were you, dude. It's like, you know what that was? That's, uh, I'm trying to think. If, if we have any deadheads in the house, they'll know. It's like going to a dead dead show. It's almost like a family reunion. Like, this is your cousin Jason, dude. You haven't seen Jason forever, or you've never met Jason, but he's your cousin. It was that kind of a thing. That was very cool. All right, we are, what, two minutes away now? No, still three. Beard's looking good. Uh, I'm not sure about this, though. I'd rather do the single, though. I really would. It's a lot easier. Uh, what's up, cuz? Exactly, Jason. Star Wars Ladybug. We are close. We are very, very close. We are now two minutes away. All right? Let me get my phone so we actually do it on the actual. All right. So we've got another uh, another 90 seconds, okay? I'm, I'm looking right here at the little clock in the well, Little clock on my phone's got a little. So I'm about to do the countdown. So we are now uh, approaching uh, 60 second mark. So we got a little bit. Uh, Galactic yachts. Love to hear your breakdown. What each number of your 110 scale feels like. I think I'm very inaccurate. See, here's the thing. I don't think of it in terms of one to ten. Think of it in terms of pain. Because that's what we're talking about. So if you don't think of it in terms of one to like a number, think of it in terms of pain. Like, how much pain am I in? How much can I take? You know what I mean? That's how I see it. What, okay, guys, we're one minute away from one hot minute. Oh, I can't wait. All right, so I keep this thing kind of handy so I can do the countdown. Here we go, you guys. Three drops of brooms, vintage 24. Very nice. Uh, Sir Nogs is my first time at Tincture Culture. <laughs> I love it. All right, so here you go, you guys. We are... 30 seconds away from so many people's first one hot minute. Ghost pepper sauce. That's awesome. I love that. It's cheap too. Used to be, they changed. It used to be tropical peppers. They changed company, changed name. But you're not going to die, Dominic. I promise you won't. All right. Where are we at here? Hold on. All right. We are 10, 10 seconds. Inside five, I'll do the countdown. Are you guys ready? Get ready. Get your stuff ready. Five, four, Three, two, one hot minute.
Yes. Joe Torres. I beg to beg you. You are the man. But thank you for saying that. All right. So here we go. We're at one. Dizzy Dragon. He's got a one with a pickled jalapeno. Uh, we got a little burning from Brandon breathing. Drew V's at a one. I'm at a two. Thomas uh, Turner. Oh, my goodness. He loves this. Lemon. Oh, man. I'm at a three. I'm not even just saying that. All right. Doritos Dynamite Dynamita is at a two for SG. Rico's ready. Three for Mad Mash from Jeremy Fowler. TJ Sebastian coming up on the outside. Three homemade habanero salsa. We got hooligans on the inside with a four. Chili Chaplin with three plus. We've got eight on the Reaper Squeeze. from Dominic Wallace. Dizzy Dragons at a two. Getting a little hotter. Star Wars Laybugs is at a four. Man, we, I got to catch up. Serrano, three for Tree Hugging Buddhist. Four and Rising for Jason P. Max Power, four with hiccups. Boom. We got three for Shannon Smith, Wes Leipard, one from a jalapeno. Uh, we got Aaron's Drone Service, two and Rising. Audrey, four from three drops of lemon tank. Six for Shell, one with Cass. Kelzeas, instead of needing five jalapenos, just going to do two. Prudent choice. Mike Eskimo Stoltz, hanging at two from Chocolate Tank. Big Glock, love it. Ate a handful of cho- hot Cheetos. Best I could do. Do not apologize here. You're still a chili head. Vicky at a three. Uh, one for Chad. There you go. Thomas Turner, five and going. Riverdale at a one. Marty Polderman, four. Ah- four Ahi Cherapitas. Got to love that. Mine's at a three, says Caitlin. Uh, John McCarty, hate habanero. Getting used to that sting. Got to love that. Two more drops down. Brandon Breeding, you are a madman. All right, one and a half, Clayton Hollis with Jeremiah. Whatever I said before, I don't remember. Sh- uh, Shannon Smith, four. Da- uh, David Dormeyer, two ghost pepper sauce. Nice. Audrey's five from three drops of lemon tin. Gone up to five for Jeremy Fowler. Smoking Blanc at a, uh, is at a five and rising. Kazeas, it's hot. Stogna Bologna. Stogna Bologna, I love it. Uh, three to four. Shell is at a six from the Yucateco. I can't. Uh, sold, sold, sold. Bulger Buds. Trio Beauty uh, let's see, hanging at a three for Herja. Uh, four for Kazeas. Jam with Jesus. You gotta love that. Where are we at? Oh, no. I missed the bus. You're still on. Hey, there's a five minute retro. We'll ratify this thing. Go to the fridge. Get something hot. Count that. Two from Blazing Foods Corn Nugs. Love that. Galactic Yachts. Living out at four. Uh, tube of Terror. Uh, Tolerance way up. Gotta love that. Sebastian. Man, why is it doing that? There we go. Four uh, from the three habaneros in the salsa. Homemade tink. Six reaper goes from Sir Nugs. Ten drops of tincture. Sing it a four. Very bold, Marco. Ten drops. Well done. Solid five now from Aaron. Dico, Rico Dorsey. Dor- Rico Dorsey's at a four. Brandon Bring is at a two. Uh, Dizzy Dragon, the bird's fading. I'm fading too. Uh, mine got to solid two, maybe even a three. You gotta be kidding me! Audrey's getting an endorphin rush. You're saying that like you're like like that's not a normal thing. Is that this isn't a first, is it? That's exciting. You were not expecting that. <sighs> Kicks a lot out of you, you know. I did not see any uh, police copters flying around, Ray Ray. I did not see that. I saw two uh, Apache copters flying uh, very low. Was that yesterday, Tommy? The Apaches. Was that yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday we saw a couple. So, for everybody, I now dub you all legit Chase the Heat Chili Heads. You just had your first conversations with Christy. Hello. Ah, Hooligans RC Adventures has a a ghost pepper staying at a four. Chad Matthews got to a two. Bull cow, good to see you, dude. Love you, man. I hope I didn't miss anybody. John McCarty about to drop Habanero, another one. Well done, dude. Um, I can't with the hotness. You say that now. Give it time. We all can. There was a time where I couldn't either. <sighs> that was cool. We got. A lot. I love doing that with new people. It's like I'm sorry. One hot what? What'd you call it? Riverdale. That was my imitation of that emoji. 
This makes up for the Best Buy Eclipse, right? Listen, for those of you uh, who didn't ex- hear what happened to me, I got Best Buy. Let me tell you a funny story. This is a funny story because I'm going to dovetail into the Best Buy problem. I'm with Tommy. I was doing some work. This is a funny story. It's true. But again, it'll pay off in the end. So uh, I'm in Salt Lake. Tommy was living there. And we were doing a business together. And I was there. I, I lived in a, I lived in Texas. He lived in Salt Lake. So I just traveled back and forth a lot. So I was with Tommy. And I was there for a couple of weeks. And so I called our business partner that was flying around. I'm like, hey, I'm ready to go. And I'm like, he, so he literally, he bought the ticket for me. I'm in the car on my cell phone as we're going to the airport in Salt Lake City. I, he buys me the ticket. I'm like, what? He goes, it's an e-ticket. You don't worry about anything. Just e t- electronic, an e-ticket. I said, perfect. So I get to the airport. He's with a kid named Jeff. In the, so it's my, Tommy, Jeff, and me. And I'm in the back seat of this car because I am I know I'm going to be the one jumping out. It makes no point. You know, I'm going to have Jeff sit in the back. I'm the one bailing, so I'll get in the back with my suitcase. So I get to the, the airport. Door opens up. I get out. I'm like, peace. Love you guys. He has to go all the way down, do a loop around and, and leave the airport. So I go in. I go straight. There was nobody. At the, nope. I go straight to the counter. I said, give my pat my uh, ID. And I said, I got a flight. I, I knew. I don't remember the time it was. I, I said, it's coming right up. It's like an hour from now. She goes, well, you don't have, there's no flight with your name on it. And, you know, I don't have a record of it. I said, well, that has to be there. I said, I just, my Business partner just bought it. I was on the phone. It happened while I was on the way here. It's an e-ticket. It's there. She goes, it's not here. So I called him. I'm like, she says it's not here. She goes, he goes, I just bought it. So I, I looked at her and she wasn't going to do it. She goes, you can buy another ticket. I'm like, why should I buy another ticket? He just bought one. Why should he buy another one? So I said, and I swear to you, this is what I said. I said, honey, if you're going to, if you're going to steal from me, get a gun. It's easier. That's why I said, she puts her hand on her phone, goes, what? You have a gun? I went, oh, my God. I grabbed my suitcase and ran out. Cause, so I run out. I'm like, oh, my God, there's going to be a problem. So I, as I'm running out, I see Tommy and, and Jeff going back. The, and I'm looking at him. I'm like, oh, I whistle at him. I run across. He stops the car. I open it up. I dive in. He goes, like, what's the problem? Why are you hiding? I said, drive. Get out of here. And we didn't even get to the end. And I'm telling you, there were a lot am- like alarms and sirens everywhere. And I know that was for me. So, Best Buy, if you're going to steal from people, get a pew pew. It's easier. The, the the running around and all the stuff you had to do for 150 bucks was it really worth it? Next time, get a pew pew. It's a lot easier because Best Buy are thieves. They charged me 149 dollars to take a virus off a computer. Pick the computer up which was a different whole another story. But I get the computer. I go home. I'm sitting next to Tommy. I open it up, push one button. I look at Tommy. I'm like, look at that. And it's one of those viruses. It doesn't matter what key you press, no matter what you do, the same thing pops up. He's like, they didn't do anything. It's in the exact same condition it was when I dropped it off. They're not going to pay. They're not going to. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. I even I disputed my credit card. You know what the credit card company said? Declined. They did their job. I'm like, oh really? So I called them on the phone. This was yesterday. Can't get my money back. The, the, my credit card company denied me. I took the listen. I took the computer. I I would have rather thrown it off a bridge and go buy a different one that doesn't have a virus on it to have to deal with Best Buy again. They're thieves. So what I did was the computer that had the virus on it was 72 hours old. I just bought it to write this book because it's a nice computer. So I needed a new computer. So I bought it for that purpose. I bought, I didn't buy the computer from Best Buy. I bought the computer from Walmart. So instead of going back to Best Buy, went to Walmart and said, I want to, this is sort of funny. I go to Walmart. I go up to the customer service counter. I said, I want to return this. I'm trying to tell her that I want to return it without her really knowing that there's a virus on it. It's a guy, actually. So I said, I want to return it. He said, what's the problem? I said, I, need, I want to buy a, a, a better model. He's like, okay. So he opens it up. 
he pushes one button and it goes, <laughs> the, I'm like, oh yeah, it, it, it has a virus on it. So I had to tell, I got caught. So I said, look, dude, I said, you know, it is what it is. I said, I'm going to give you more money. All right. I want, this was like, you know, and I'll give him a couple hundred dollars more. So I said, uh, this was funny. He says to me, well, all right, we'll take this computer, go back to the computer section and tell him which computer you want and we'll and pay for it there. I said, okay. So I take the computer. And this is funny because I already got in the computer section and he told me to go to the customer service. So he's telling me to go back. So now I, I go back to the thing. I have the computer. I say, he just told me to come and do it here. So I, <coughs> so I have the bad computer with a virus on it. He gives me the, I buy a, a new one. It's in a box and everything. So I have the receipt for the new one because I paid. I haven't paid the difference. I have the receipt for the old one. And I'm walking. Uh, he, he just, you can't pay for it. You got to pay for it up front. Like, so he just made me walk over. I, have to, I said to my brother, he was, I know, I know what you're thinking. I said I wouldn't do it, but I could. Nothing to stop. Nothing to stop me from walking out. Just walking up. In fact, I walked up. And I went to pay the guy. And he's like, "Wow, you could have, you could have just walked out of here with that." He had the receipt. From the old one, you could have just walked out. Got both of them. I said, I'm not that guy. So, anyhow, it has nothing to do with the computer, I don't think. It was a Lenovo. It wasn't Lenovo's fault. Boy, I'll tell you what. Best Buy, I'd rather you punch me in the th- I'd rather you hit me in the face with a gym sock full of wood screws than have to walk in that building. In fact, it was really funny. I was on the phone with one of the, one of the only nice people that I spoke to with on the phone at Best Buy. She's like, you, know, you can go back into the store. I said, uh, I, I don't think that would be a good idea. She said, why? I said, have you not been, how long have we been on the phone? Huh? You're hearing the tone in my voice. Do you think it would be a good thing for me to walk back in that store right now? I, I, I am not a felon. I, I haven't been arrested for anything in a long time. I don't need to go back in that store. I don't. Ever, ever again, ever. So, oh, and it's funny too because I made a video. And in that video, I talk about the whole experience. I made a couple of them. It was terrible. There must be twenty-five comments. Oh, dude, I had to fix that for nothing. Oh, what well, you should have got, got. There were so many comments. I'm like, you know. Anyway, it's over and done. Now I have so I have this computer now. It has a beautiful, clear picture. It is a uh, touchscreen, which is always interesting. Anyhow. Uh, TJ Sebastian says, hey, Johnny, you re- uh, you are really the man. I don't know about that. It's almost 1 a.m. in Switzerland. You're up at 1 a.m. You are the man, TJ. Have a great rest of your stream and catch you in the next one. Thank you, dude. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. My son, my oldest son could do it. My oldest son lives in Georgia, so he's not around. Uh, I was so upset. Brandon, you have no idea, dude. I was so upset. Ah, it's just amazing. Here's the thing. If they said to you, like anybody in the chat, we'll pick, I'll pick somebody. If they said, Thomas Turner, we're going to give you $100 million if you can get on the phone and speak to somebody in the actual building of any Best Buy in the United States, you have 60 minutes and go. Dude, that 60 minutes is going to come and go, and you're going to be pissed. You're going to be like, I had $100 million, I would have all that money. Like, There's no way. I don't care what I don't care. There's, it's impossible. I spent five, four or five days trying to. And it's funny. It's tricky, too. Oh, it's tricky. Because when you dial the number for the uh, one on Walmart, it's a 520 number. You're like, oh, man, I'm getting, this is a local number. That person you're talking to, they ain't there. I promise you, they're in. They ain't there. They ain't in this country. I promise you that too. Let's art live. Highest you can take is a habanero. That's right. Everybody, every single chili head, every raging chili head, you know, was just like that where the hottest you could possibly take was a hop in there. Everybody. So don't worry about it. Just keep chipping away at it. Customer service is brutal. And the funny thing is, Christy, today, <laughs> today, it could have been more than half hour before I started the stream. I got something from Best Buy. How was your experience? I told him. I told him. 
there were three or four places where I could write stuff in addition to like, how is your, the phone service? I'm like, it's horrible. Every one of them, horrible. The worst, I mean, there, there's nothing for, I want to throw a rock through your window. There, there isn't any of those. The worst it got was horrible or bad. You know, it wasn't even, I mean, you know, it was, it was, they're thieves. They're thieves. Have I done enough to, have I, have I covered Best Buy enough? Can I move on? Because I'll stay on Best I could do another hour of Best Buy if you want me to. But I can move on if you want. I'll tell you what. All customer service is a nightmare, Audrey. You can't, you know, it's all terrible. Galactic Yachts, have you tried Purple Chocolate Reapers? I don't know, Purple Chocolate. Dizzy, you're here. Dizzy Dragon, you guys. He's the Chase the Heat historian. Dizzy Dragon, have I ever had... Uh, what do you say it was? What were they? Uh, have I ever had purple chocolate reapers? Now, are you saying they're chocolate reapers that ended up being purple? Or is that a strain? Is it called purple chocolate reapers? Because I've had some chocolate uh, pods before that had kind of a... Why is that? I think I just deleted somebody's comment. I did. I just deleted your comment, Max Power. I didn't mean to do it. I apologize. Wherever that was, it didn't need to be deleted. Forgive me. Uh, I was trying to find that. So, Galactic Yachts. Sorry. Is that a chocolate reaper that had a purple hue to it? Or was it called? Oh, okay. It's a cross of a reaper uh, with purple reaper chocolate phenotype. Well, Dizzy, have I done that before? He would know. Probably better than I would. As bizarre as that sounds. What's the best time of year to grow chili pe to ghost peppers? I don't know, Toby. Ask Dizzy. <laughs> I don't, I've never grown I believe it's a variation that ripens through a purple color to chocolate. There you go. I have not eaten that pepper, says Dizzy Dragon. And I, I don't doubt him. You know, it's funny. As a content creator, there's a lot of content creators probably in this chat. There's, what, 76 of us? There's probably a bunch of content creators in the chat. You'll always have people that will say, I've seen all your videos. They will. You know, and if you, if you don't have a deep rabbit hole, then maybe they can, you know, but where am I up to? Let me see. I'm scared to touch things now. This is scary. I'll lose you and never see you again. I have made 5,442 videos. So when someone says, I've seen them all, I'm like, nah, I appreciate you saying that, but I'm not sure if you have. He has. He has. They're, they're cataloged. It's ridiculous. So he is the Chase the Heat historian. No joke. I'm totally digging this thing now. I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's comfortable. We're going to put like lighting out here. It'll be a great place to do live. It's a, it is a great place to do live streams. Look what I see. If you look just sitting here. Kind of cool. That's right behind the. Right there. Uh, uh, you know, Daniel Bellino, we've made it. In fact, I was talking to him just recently about re, you know, we almost had to, the, we had to the point where I thought we could sell it. I, I mean, it, it was an amazing product, but I, I'm, my business partner is a perfectionist. So he wanted to get it better, but we're working on it. It's something we definitely will be selling at some point. Toby, you're pretty awesome, dude. When can I meet you? <laughs> Toby, you're a nice guy. I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty accessible. I'm around always. I, I do travel a lot though. Uh, for the next month, no one's going to be seeing me. Well, you'll see me on the channel, uh, channel, but I'm going to be in a room with a keyboard. That's about it. I've become your new daily ritual. You love my input on everything. That's because you haven't heard my input on everything, Audrey. I'm going to say, here's the thing. You know, I don't talk about stuff. I talk about peppers. I don't talk. I'm talking about Best Buy today because they, they gave it to me. But I don't talk about like current events and stuff because I don't think people want to hear my thoughts about current events. You want to hear about peppers, though. Oh, my goodness. Andrew Garnett has a bus pass. Thank you so much, Andrew. You know what you need to do, Andrew? Stop. Uh, check them out. Watch the uh, Couch Time series. It's kind of a uh, it's couch time. It's like a, I'm kind of treating like a therapist, like kind of explain to you why I am the way I am. So, but thank you so much. I hope you're not disappointed. There's, way, there's over a hundred videos, and 
You know, there's a chocolate prima tali video that's on there that nobody's ever seen unless you have a bus pass. Uh, yeah, cap cramps are a drag, Daniel. They really are. Jamming for Jesus. I love Arizona. Grew up in Arizona. Lived there 45 years. Take care of parents right now. I'll be coming home when the time is right. So it's a great place. I like it. YouTube algorithms a drag. Haven't seen in months, and I'm subscribed. You know what you need to do? Unsubscribe, resubscribe, and hit uh, notification. And that usually kind of helps things. Um, Brandon, ES Power Drink is so good. I have one left, and it's in the fridge right now. It's so good. Oh, You know what? My sister loved it. My brother loved it. My sister loved it even more than my brother. Uh-oh, Audrey eats hot stuff. One time I ate a Reaper on an empty stomach before bed thinking I would sleep through the cramps. Not a good idea. Here's the thing. The operative key word there is that is one time. The psychologists call that one trial learning, Audrey. I mean, man is the only animal that will stumble over the same stone twice. We do that as people. We will make them sit, you know, do something stupid and do it again. I'll bet you don't do that again. I'll bet you don't do that again. That is something that you do once, and then you're like, okay, note to self. Eat something. Don't eat hot stuff on an empty stomach. You know what I'm going to do? I'm only going to talk for another five minutes, you guys, and we're going to end this thing. I'm going to sit over here. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Yeah, we're going to sit here. We'll just go for another five minutes or so. We've been going for 57. We'll go a little bit longer, and then we're going to end it. Uh, but, yeah, man, eating this, you got to have stuff in your stomach. And I don't like eating stuff. Like, I rarely ever do chat. Like, I once in a blue moon, I'll do, like, a nighttime challenge. But eating hot stuff at night, it's, you know, if you want to sleep, it's a bad idea. Two lives in one day. Exactly, Ann. Is it my birthday? It is not, Ann. You are just too sweet. Thank you for being there for both of them. It's crazy. Not funny. So today, if you didn't see today's video, today, because I was sold a bill of goods, <laughs> I got lied to about this uh, eclipse. As a result, I lied to all you. But Tommy and I did a, it almost looks like a backdrop. It doesn't look real. Uh, it's because of the way my head looks against the blue. Is it just me or does that look like that? It looks like a, like a green screen because of the line around my dome. Isn't that weird? Anyway, I had Tommy next to me. So we had our computers side by side and it was funny. Most people were on his channel because he does live streams, live streams all the time. But I had some people on mine that I would have expected would have been over on his. I'm not going to lie. I loved it. Just being honest. Sean Somerville. No way. Good to see you, dude. Uh, Blink Music. Got some Johnny Mans. Aren't they great? You say they're hot now. Eat one of those a day every day. After a week, they aren't so hot. So raise your tolerance with it. It does. It, it looks like I'm serious. The line on my head just looks like a green screen. Looks green screenish. I'm just saying. Maybe it's me. Uh, I wonder if I should do it like uh, three o'clock tomorrow. I wonder if I can do one tomorrow. It may not be at three, but I think we'll do another live stream tomorrow. It really does look fake. Thank you, Jeremy Fowler, Brian Nim. Yo, good to see you. Oh, how'd you forget that, Lego? Catch your snap, dude. Oi, oi, oi. Been waiting on that. Um, you know what's funny about Black Hole Sun? You, you couldn't get it out of your head. Let me tell you my Black Hole Sun story. I was a missionary. Well, you may not know that. Go to get a bus pass. And watch Couch Time. You'll hear about all this stuff that you don't know about me. I was on a trip to Russia. Or I was running a marathon to raise money for an orphanage. And uh, I ran the marathon in central Siberia. In a uh, in the capital city called Omsk. 
Okay. After the race was over, the, like the 90% of the trip was in central Siberia in Omsk. After that, we split. I uh, left and we were at um, the Olympic Hotel in Moscow. Okay. Now, in the, uh, they had TVs in the room. And they had MTV. I was so stoked. I was a kid. Yeah, I was young. It was a long time ago. I was like, no way they have MTV. I turned it on, and the first song was Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. I'm like, oh, you are kidding me. So I watched the, the video. So I can't remember the other four videos. But like four or five videos. That was it. I... And the other ones weren't good ones. So really, of the whole group, the only one that was worth listening to was Black Hole Sun. And I was in that hotel for like three days. And I'll bet you in the, in, I, I heard that song so much in three days. So I couldn't get it out of my head either. All right. Uh, I know, right? That's brutal. I still can't believe he's not around. Bizzle. No way, dude. You know what? I was just – I talked to Bizzle yesterday. I got to talk to Bizzle. Did we talk today? I think we did. Can't remember. My days are blending together, dude. Bizzle, call me when the video is over. All right, we're going to wrap it up now. I love you guys a lot. Look at that. See, tell me that doesn't look fake. Look at my dome. Look at the line. It's a green screen. I'm not sitting outside. I'm in my – this is a studio, people. It's a studio. You guys believe that? It looks like it. It doesn't look real, I'm saying. All right, we're going to wrap it up. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I, I appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you for the time. And thank you for the, for the, all the people who made donations. Thank you so much. I love you guys a lot. Going to wrap it up. I think we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do this again tomorrow. Tell someone you love them. Be kind to somebody, all right? All right. Talk to you guys later. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this, this was Chase the Eat.